Hi, my name is Sarah Teurer. I'm a curator at Haus der Kunst in Munich. I'm generally interested in non-static things, so my exhibitions often involve sound and new media technologies. My specific research focus is what I call on techno-social entanglements. And um, this basically means how technologies affect uh, our politics, our lives, and the way we relate to each other. To give an example, the exhibition um, Window of Tolerance by the artist uh, Wang Shui was, um, for example, asking this question, how does artificial intelligence change the way we see ourselves? Wang Shui created a video simulation in which um, an automated or programmed reality TV show was developing these questions of how do we represent ourselves or how do we see ourselves in relation to artificial intelligence. I'm also really interested in what I call ancient technologies, for example, the voice, which I think has been said to be one of the oldest instruments and actually also triggered a lot of new technology ideas such as um, amplification or transmission systems. So for me, uh, working on techno-social entanglements doesn't necessarily involve new digital media, but can also relate to our bodies. Last year, for example, we organized an entire program around the voice and artificial intelligence, which combines ancient technologies and bodily technologies such as the voice and new technologies or digital technologies such as artificial intelligence. And in, in other times, for example, I'm thinking of the exhibition Mute by Panda Jing, um, who's a composer and artist that didn't involve any sort of technologies per se, but allowed us, um, or the visitors, to uh, experience our entanglement with technologies, for example, through the application of different structured times, like clock time, body time, and day time, and the switching between these different times. Practices of listening and creating encounters is uh, very central to my work as a curator, and especially when it comes to live programming. I think, um, to me, life always suggests some sort of immersion, um, but not necessarily um, digital media immersion. It can be analog immersion as well. In practical terms, it often means that I avoid traditional stage or gallery settings and I look for an expansion of the gallery space. Yeah, I have collaborated on different occasions um, with live action role play um, groups uh, or performance activities uh, with radio plays. And I think uh, what it teached me was uh, world building. So let's say a way of um, playing with imagination um, and engaging um, or creating engaging settings and also the importance of time and timing when uh, we think about exhibition making. During the visit in Buenos Aires, I would love to understand more about the diverse ways of understanding and constructing technology and how techno-social entanglements play out in the Latin American context, especially in Buenos Aires, which, um, I mean, I've barely scratched the surface here, but uh, from what I understand, um, has a very rich uh, history, both in performing arts, but also in um, engagement with technologies. And um, to give a recent example, I have seen quite a lot of interesting experimentation with um, alternative um, yeah, economies um, and currencies, new kind of cryptocurrencies, for example, um, coming from Buenos Aires. And a friend has referred me to Roberto Jacobi, who has developed this notion of the technologies of friendship, which I think is super interesting. And I would love to delve further into this um, direction.